The League of Women Voters hosting its legislative brunch at Wilkes University today, the first time since the pandemic. The event aims to educate voters about various political topics by having open discussions with local representatives. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules tells us more about how the organization hopes to educate people heading to the polls. <laughs> State Representatives Jim Haddock of the 118th District and Eddie J. Pashinsky of the 121st District sat down to meet and greet attendees and give their opinion and explanations of some major topics being discussed in politics, both locally and nationally. This is America. This is democracy. The League of Women Voters organization was originally created to uplift and educate women on various political topics to help them make informed decisions during election periods. The fact that it's women voters, of course, means so much when Eleanor Roosevelt began this organization um, before women had the right to vote. It's always been about voting rights and about hearing individual voices. Despite women being in the name of the organization, Anthony assures that this organization doesn't just serve women. So the League of Women Voters is open to all all genders and we do have um, right now male and female members on our board and in our local membership. Grace Gluzak, a senior at Wilkes University, says that with so many different opinions and often misinformation that can be found regarding political topics on social media, having the proper information straight from the source to have a genuine understanding and form your own opinion is very important. Having representatives and people be able to break it down in a manner that people can understand is greatly important because then voters can make more educated decisions and understand and hey, this is what my vote is actually doing. The League of Women Voters Wilkes-Barre chapter say they will continue to educate voters of all genders and political parties to help them make better and more informed decisions going into this upcoming election. Reporting from Wilkes-Barre in Luzerne County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10. For more information on the League of Women Voters upcoming events and outreach programs, you can visit this story on our website.